And our last property, we have the zero property. Hahati natin siya into three parts. We have the multiplying by zero, zero over non-zero number, and division by zero. So, we start tayo sa letter A. Zero property. The multiplying by zero. So, mag-multiply daw tayo ng zero. So, if I have A times zero, alam natin by definition, any number multiplied by zero, that is zero. So, 3 times 0, that is also 0. 101 times 0, syempre, 0 din yun. Madali lang ano, tandaan lang, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Letter B, 0 over non-zero number. So, we have 0 over non-zero. Let's say, N. That is, 0. So, kapag ang numerator natin ay 0, at divide natin sa kahit anong number, ang quotient niyan ay 0. So, let's say 0 over 15. That is also 0. 0 over 12. 0 din yan. 0 over 1,001. 0 din yan. And last, division by 0. Alam natin, naman na yan, n over 0. Denominator naman natin ay 0. So, this is not allowed in mathematics o kahit sa science. Ang tawag natin dyan ay undefined. Kaya kapag dinay ninyo sa calculator ninyo, 12 over 0, ang lalabas dyan ay infinity or undefined. That means math error sa ibang calculator, or syntax error. 30 over 0, that is undefined. Or the infinity sign cannot be defined. So, ayan lahat ng ating properties of real numbers. 1 to 7.